Hello and welcome friends. Welcome to another fountain pen review. This time I have for you a modern luxury fountain pen. I had the incredible luck of uh, buying this fountain pen from a Facebook group and the seller wanted for it only 350 lays. So immediately I jumped right over the ad and uh, I was fortunate enough that the ad was only listed for f f the first five minutes. So I believe in the first five of 10 minutes, I made uh, the offer. Okay, I will buy it. I don't negotiate your price. It is a wonderful price. So I paid 350 lays plus 20 lays the shipping cost and for a total of 370 lays. So I got myself a beautiful, beautiful luxury fountain pen, an ST DuPont fountain pen for 74.79 euros or 83.69 American dollars, including the shipment cost. It was quite difficult to find the actual name of this beautiful, beautiful fountain pen because when you search on the internet and um, try to figure out what model of the ST DuPont line this fountain pen is, you find first the model Olympio silver with the diamond head model and in fact you can see indeed we have this diamond uh, type model we have here st dupont and paris we also have here made in france and a serial number on the clip and we have this distinctive jewel this square black jewel that is um, embedded in a way in the clip in the metallic clip so guys i have one dilemma with this fountain pen i believe it is called the st dupont olympio and this pattern this diamond head model maybe it is called Cote d'Azur. i'm not so sure but i also found a similar model with the same pattern of a diamond head at the model Orfeo or Orpheus and uh, I was quite quite intrigued I also found I think an Instagram page or something like that I will leave a photo on the screen where a bunch of the ST DuPont's models were lined but unfortunately the name of that picture was ST DuPont Olympio slash Orfeo line. So maybe I can find from you guys what type of fountain pen I bought myself. What I know for sure is that uh, judging by its build quality, this isn't a fake model, it is a real model. I must tell you that I bought it as it is, without an ink converter or without its original box, but believe me guys, when uh, I saw it face to face, the picture didn't give it justice. It's just a beautiful, beautiful metallic fountain pen. Not a heavy fountain pen, but not a light fountain pen. Quite, quite uh, attention to details that only high-end manufacturers can reserve on their products. If you're not familiar with the ST DuPont line, it is a line for gentlemen usually known for its accessories like lighters, cigarette lighters, but they do also fashion uh, gentleman accessories, including this beautiful, beautiful fountain pen made in France, as you can see, a wonderful, wonderful work of art, in my humble opinion. Well, uh, guys, you know me, I'm not such a wealthy collector, but sometimes I have the luck to find out the real, real treasures out there. So, when I saw this fountain pen under 
100 euros i said this is a win i didn't knew the num model name i knew the brand of course and i was quite quite intrigued about this beautiful beautiful nib well guys i saw the nib that it had 18 carat it was a gold nib and simple a simple wonderful wonderful nib well i don't know what generation of fountain pen it is because most of the gold nibs made by dupont have instead of this logo which uh, you can see two squares and another uh, four squares but a big square and inside of it a medium square joined by other two squares in the left side so i know for sure that this is or was the logo of dupont but the majority of the names i saw are with a great d right there in the middle and uh, they are two-toned colored nibs i will show you a photo of the nib that i found on ebay and you will do the comparisons but again guys this is the team of the fountain and this is the logo and it matches this black jewel on the beautiful beautiful metallic clip what is interesting about this nib and uh, i didn't see this feature on other fountain pens is the size of the nibs you can see this strange strange shape of it in fact a simple simple plastic feed but the shape is quite intriguing i mean this part and of course the other part the symmetrical part also i like about this nib that we have mentioned on it the size of the nib so we don't have to guess like other luxury fountain pen producers and when i say luxury fountain pen producers i think of mont blanc which of course doesn't write the size of the nib doesn't imprint the size of the nib on it so like uh, pelican a thumbs up for st dupont for including the size of the nib engraved in this wonderful wonderful metallic gold nib so what can i say guys i'm pretty pretty lucky in fact one of my friends saw that i acquired this at that price and uh, he told me you did an amazing deal i'm interested to, in it would you sell it and i th said to him that i will think about it after i do the review so if we return to our fountain pen let me present it to you in greater detail so i will zoom on it and let's start with the cap we can see the cap has the wonderful wonderful pattern of uh, those interested diamond heads it has also space and here with a mate finish and i believe it's done for in order for it to be personalized if the owner wants the that fact as a engraving on the cap we have on the clip made in france and the serial number and interesting here we have also engraved lac de sheen i'm quite puzzled about this lac de sheen because i am familiar with the lac de sheen and the lac de sheen from the dupont especially from the 1970s look like looks like this so it's uh, certainly lacquer de sheen it's a finish a glossy finish a wonderful wonderful finish that has uh, these shades wonderful wonderful shades and i'm intrigued because this is a metallic shiny fountain pen it doesn't have this lacquer de sheen on it let me focus on the model from the 1970s because we have st dupont nine to five so it means we have a sterling silver body and covered on the sterling silver body we have Lac the sheen so this is the Lac the sheen i also have another model 
and uh, this time we have again 9 to 5 but this is the vermeil technique so we have a body of sterling silver which is gold plated and you can see that the gold plating has stood the test of time it is wonderful 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 so this is quite quite a puzzle for me why does it have this engraving and also you can see like um, a sign there i'm not so sure what it stands for like a leaf i'm not so sure on the back of the clip we don't have uh, any imprints let me see how functional it is it is quite functional quite a springy springy nib uh sorry clip and here again that black jewel i like the way that the barrel separates itself from the cap and look at this it has this design two rings right here as did you point engraved and paris engraved it is a pressure fit cap but uh, it seems to be quite quite well built because it's very very easy to pull off in fact i will try to pull it off with one hand to see you can see what easy it is to pull out so no pressure almost no pressure required quite quite a high end detail and um, interesting I don't think we have a metallic part here it's also a black plastic material so maybe in time after a few uses it will be need to be replaced because it is a plastic material and in time it will loosen itself so not a great point for a high luxury fountain pen yes I prefer the screwed one caps that last for a lifetime. It reveals this beautiful shining grip section. It is shiny, it's all made out of uh, this shiny metal. Interesting enough, we have this large, large ring that offers a quite, quite well grip position. And I've already shown you the big, beautiful, beautiful. 18 carat 750 gold nib again a difference between this and other dupont models is the logo i'm not so sure is the new logo or the old logo maybe you can uh, tell me in the comments what is your opinion and guys this was delivered when uh, it was new with its own ink converter but what is a good good point about this fountain pen is the fact that it uses international size ink cartridges so dupont <laughs> doesn't have its proper proprietary cartridges you can use international sized ink cartridges and also ink converters i have fitted this already on it I hope it will uh, write because I didn't had the chance to write with it. As you can see here, metallic part. And here, interesting choice. Also, in the inside, now you can see that we don't have the metallic part, but instead they opted for a plastic material that covers the metallic tube. So this is the wonderful pen. You can see the barrel maintains that pattern and uh, that simple stripes so it's quite quite wonderful the end is quite flat and this is guys our beautiful beautiful fountain pen now you already saw the slim looking sd duponts from the 1970s so this was the trend back then but how does it compare with the big luxury fountain pens of uh, our time? Well, I can't say I have modern fountain pens, but I have the modern uh, model of the um, Montblanc Meisterstück 146. 
This is in fact the model from 1983 and interesting enough it was delivered for the French market because they both have 18 karat gold nibs and probably you know but if you don't know I will tell you right now that the majority of the Mont Blancs 146 are delivered with 14 karat gold nibs some of them are single colored some of them have have uh, two colors but uh, they usually are 14 karat but in france if uh, you want to sell a gold fountain pen you must have installed on it an 18 karat gold nib so that that was the law till uh, 2006 i believe when they had to accept also with 14 karat inferior gold on the gold fountain pens i believe to get in line with the european law i'm not so sure about that fact but usually when i see old fountain pens prior to, to the 2000s i think we fitted with an 18 karat gold nib i think especially of the french market and of the swiss market and uh, you might call this a sacrilege this isn't a luxury fountain pen but it is famous for being a clone of the mont blanc 149 diplomat unfortunately believe it or not guys i have a vast vast collection of fountain pens but till this day i don't own a mont blanc 149 diplomat the iconic one but it is what it is I must compare in size the ST DuPont with this Jinhao 159. So the 159 has the same dimension as the great great Mont Blanc 149. I will put them side by side. And why not guys? I have I have it right in front of me. So uh, I have also here a Delta limited edition fountain pen. Uh, Napoleon Bonaparte, one of uh, I think one of the most expensive fountain pens in my collection. I think it is worth one thousand and five hundred euros. Maybe I'm exaggerating the price, but it is limited to only eight hundred and eight pieces in this configuration with this blue acrylic you can see here. In fact. You might know this fountain pen. I will also leave a link to its review. This, I wanted to show you that this is the number 144 of 808. And it shows the different aspects of the reign of Napoleon. And it was done in limited edition to commemorate the first common currency that was issued in 1812 both in uh, france and in the small kingdom of naples i believe in italy or milan i'm not so sure guys but you can correct me in the comments well a great great buy for me certainly a unique unique piece this is a large large fountain pen but why not let me put it aside just for fun to highlight in a way the dimensions of the DuPont. The DuPont is not a small fountain pen and guys I want to show you right now all of them side by side. I hope you, you can make yourself an idea about the dimensions of our fountain pen and after that I will leave the dimensions of our fountain pen on the screen and I will try to write a writing sample using that ink cartridge over there. So guys, I bought this uh, right at the beginning of 2022. So if I'm not mistaken, this SD DuPont was the first purchase of 2022 so quite quite a lucky purchase remember guys i paid for this 370 lays or 
approximately 75 euros or 84 american dollars and believe it or not if you search on ebay a similar fountain pen with a similar finish from st dupont costs at least 400 american dollars uh, yes that particular uh, price is uh, for a fountain pen that has the papers and the original box not to mention its original ink converter but i don't think that i lost somehow in fact i won because i don't care about boxes guys i don't care about disposable or um, other type of filling uh, mechanisms but i care about the finish of the fountain pen and of course i care about the nib it's all about the nib guys so before i will do the writing sample you must know that if this has that plastic material it won't scratch when we try to post it so it posts quite quite well it now has a healthy healthy weight to it um because the cap rests on this part of your hand you won't feel all its weight but i sincerely prefer to use my fountain pens without posting the cap so i will put the cap right here and guys before i will do the actual the actual sample i need to change the angle of the camera for you to see better how uh, i write with it i will return in a few seconds so guys i have changed the angle of the camera and i'm ready to write with this one i didn't use it for a few days so i don't know if it will write for the first time yes it struggles to write maybe i can zoom on it for you to see guys but not this is not a problem you know that these things happen with this type of fountain pens for you to avoid this uh, let's say lag you can uh, put a uh, international size ink converter to it in fact i believe i have one right here and uh, yes i'm sorry guys Maybe I will fit this Chinese one from this Jinhao 51A. Yeah, it should be compatible, but um, we will see. Let let me try to put a little bit pressure on this cartridge, and I simply squeeze it, as you can see. And in the same time, I'm trying to put a little pressure on the nib and you can see it is quite quite nice it works now that i have the ink to the nib i will close it and i will try to write with it so what do we have here we have an s t dupont and guys, I'm sorry for the first time, I'm quite puzzled about the name of this beauty. I should call it Olympio, but maybe it is just a chance. I will say this 70% and 30%, I think it is the Orfeo model. I'm not so sure what I'm sure of is the finish so we have a metallic a metallic silver pan with a diamond diamond head model and this diamond head it is on the barrel on the barrel and also on the cap because I saw some uh, models on the internet they were advertised as Orfeo 
and they were the Due version in the sense that they had the same metallic cap and the barrel was a simple plastic, black plastic finish. We will see about it. Okay, guys, I had the privilege to acquire this with only 370 lays, including the shipment. So approximately 74.79 euros or 83.69 American dollars. Remember guys, this can be found on eBay with the original box and papers and of course it's ink converter with prices starting for 400 American dollars without the ship uh, shipping cost so i think i did quite quite a nice deal with this fountain pen if you ask me about the ink i think i have here a pelican pelican 4001 royal blue ink if i'm not mistaken royal blue it has this uh, quite quite dark shade but i think that this cartridge uh, is from a pelican 4001 royal blue pack the nib is a wonderful 18 carat 750 beauty a beautiful beautiful nib on it we have the size m m for a medium and yes i can confirm it's a medium sized fountain pen nib i'm curious to see if we have some line variation but you can see no flex to it and it's quite a stiff nib i don't think we have so here no pressure and here i start putting pressure no line variance instead i bet to you that it is quite a juicy nib because i can feel it yes it is a smooth nib it doesn't uh, scratch a bit Speaking about scratching, I'm curious to see if we can reverse write with it. Let me see. Reverse writing. Amazing. It doesn't scratch, but you can see the inflow is lost. So no, no reverse writing capability. Being a juicy nib, I suspect that it is quite nice at signatures. And yes, it is and what's to say guys now i think i will tell you about the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog as you can see guys a quite quite nice writer it does what it is meant to do it is a medium nib quite quite a nice nib i i think it is an elegant elegant writer that delivers a nice nice quality of writing it is definitely a show of peace so when you take this out of your pocket on a meeting to do a signature it will draw attention to it i think it looks quite quite nice and if you have a matching lighter even though i don't recommend for you to smoke but it is the sign of a real real gentleman quite a privilege to have this fountain pen in my collection as i promised you guys i'm sorry that it took so long this review let me see if i can fit a simple chinese made cartridge to uh, in converter to it so i will put this here okay and i will take this out of the gene how model i don't want to make a mess out of it so i will simply disassemble it like this and uh, let's try if it fits on our dupont model and uh, surprise surprise this doesn't fit so i think it is a chinese made one 
I don't know if I have another one available here. Let me see. Let me see, guys. I'm sorry, but I need to figure out this thing. If I use a simple ink converter, I have here another uh, uh, cheap, cheap fountain pen made in China. And maybe this will fit. Let me see. No. So this doesn't fit. You see that we have this... Um... Oh, interesting, guys. So... I'm sorry about that. Maybe it needs a special, special ink converter. Or maybe I use these Chinese ones that are not internationally compatible with it. But uh, be sure, guys, if I have this one, and I said to you that it's a Pelican, but I don't see any uh, thermically imprinted engravings on this one. So maybe it's not a pelican one, but a simple generic cartridge. But I assure you guys, if this fits, it means that also an international ink converter should fit it quite fine. If not, and you don't have the original SD DuPont ink converter, you can always use it with this plastic one. You can see it quite is it is quite stiff and it doesn't leak the ink guys this was my review of a wonderful luxury fountain pen again a quite lucky buy for me i didn't think i would ever have the chance to own such a beauty in my collection i want to wish you to have a wonderful day wherever you are so have a nice day thank you guys for your time if you've enjoyed this episode and if you want to support my activity please subscribe to my channel as always i want to wish you good hunting on your findings of fountain pens please stay safe in this pandemic time take care of yourselves i will see you at the next episode till then Bye-bye and God bless.